were wide open, so it came to you. Talk about how that play developed and, 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 and what Isaiah did. Uh, I saw that they weren't uh, guarding the ball, and then uh, the way they were switching, that they were just kind of like passing us on. So I knew I'd come back to the ball, and uh, I knew they were not going to let me shoot the ball. So I was looking for JP. Uh, he makes those shots all the time in practice. Countless of light so many times. So I was looking for I knew he could knock it down, and he did. What was your view of the shot? Um, I, <laughs> I actually passed it to him, and I ran underneath the basket, and uh, I just saw it go in. It just went crazy. Everybody started going crazy. Y'all chased him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much confidence do you have in the A lot, especially in those situations. Uh, I mean, he makes them all the time, literally, he makes them all the time in practice. Uh, you can always count on him to make that shot. So, I mean, he just displayed it today in the big stage. How much swag does he have? Uh, he has the most swag on the team by far. Uh, he's probably one of the top ones in the country. I heard him say something to you, or like maybe Bart something. What did he say? Like you caught the ball at half court, um, if anything. Uh, he just said harm, and then I just looked up and uh, saw that he was, he was coming open. And uh, I passed him. I have 100% confidence in that he was going to make that play. Was that play for you to like, stop there at half court and catch the ball, or was it supposed to be in more uh, it's, it's made for me to catch the ball at half court and make a play or find somebody. Is that the same play you ran against Maryland earlier in the year at the end of the game? Oh, uh, yeah. And they also didn't cover Isaiah. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, well, he couldn't run, so they yeah. they him. It, it looked like, um, I think it, you guys were up one, or you guys were down one, get fouled. It looked like uh, Coach Beeline probably got over and was like, hey, but it's still a game that you yeah. down one, all that. What did he say in that huddle? What was kind of uh, said about that? Um, we saw how much time was on the clock. It was like 3.9 or something. And uh, we knew we had plenty of time to get a good shot. And uh, we've been there before. Um, so we were rattled or anything like that. And we knew that we just we just had to find an open man. It seemed like he was kind of like trying to like pump you guys up. Like, hey, you're still in this. It's still a game. Were you guys kind of feeling, you know, after... After the possession before, where you missed the, the shot, you know, what was going through? Yeah, uh, I think a little, people were down. Uh, I, I especially was. Um, but I'm a leader, so I have to keep that stale face and uh, show strength. And, uh, you know, Coach B was trying to boost us all up because we were all kind of down. We thought it was over. But uh, once we realized that we had that much time that we could make a play, and he missed the free throws, which definitely helped. How nerve wracking is it to watch a guy know, knowing he could put the game away right there? Uh, it's, I mean, you just never want to. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. You never want the game to end like that, especially um, we have plenty of opportunities to make plays. And uh, anytime a guy shooting a free throw when they're up, uh, you just, all you can do is play. When he was going to the free throw line, did you think the game was going to uh, I mean, you always have that hope that he can miss at least one of them. Uh, and, I mean, you see what happens after that. But, I mean, all you can do is really pray. We see these moments all the time in March Madness. What's it like to be a part of one? Uh, feels really good. Um, no, you might be on like one shining moment. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's the goal. Uh, but it's just crazy. I've been a part of not in something like this, but uh, my sophomore year when Cam Chapman hit the shot against Indiana and sent us to the NCAA tournament. Um, there's nothing compared to this, but I mean, it's just a great feeling. You guys finally, who finally tracked it? He was running one end of the court, then back. Uh, the you know, I, I, I like to say I kind of cut him off, uh, kind of forced him one way, followed him back to our bench, and uh, I don't know who caught him. I think he just stopped, and we all just ran into him.